Howdy doody guys, how you all doing? So, bit of a different video for you today. Mm. Yep, that is me and I am hard carrying. <laughs> so, we've no hard carry this week. Me and Shane been struggling on our own, trying to lay trench block and stuff. So, yeah, no complaints. Anyway, I just thought I'd... I chucked a mix in and I thought to film it so I put some water in as you can see on this big diesel mixer and that is powdered plasticizer so you can buy that in tubs and you just well I think I put four four or five packets in I think you're supposed to put like two in a mix but it's a bigger mixer and yeah you don't want it you want it nice and workable your mortar so so there we go I put about five in Go and get some cement there, you can just see past the mixer there, there's some cement. That's a big pile of clean sand on the left, the ground workers have brought over. I'm going to be putting one and a half bag of cement in. There's my spade, or shovel, whatever you call it. Still don't know what they're called. So first, after the water and the plasticizer, I'm going to put a few spades of sand in. Knees bent, lad. Knees bent. So that's it. And that's half a bag of cement after all that sand I've just put in. So that's like the first stage. You want to try and make sure at all times you don't breathe any of that in. That's cement dust. So you'll see, normally straight after I put the cement in, I put some water in just to keep the dust or the cement powder from going into the air all right so better open the next bag of cement I'll just nick in the side with the spade and just rip the top off and that's Shane saying why are you filming yourself doing that <laughs> and I said like I'm gonna show people how to do a mix and here I am so more more sand in the mixer go on lad back breaking So I think that's... Have I put that cement in? No, I've not put that cement in. I've just prepped it. So yes, yeah, more sand. And here we go with the settings on the on the mixer. You'll see I lowered it there, so it's more... What shall I say? Shallow or more horizontal. The mixer, so the blades mix all the cement up better. So that's a handy tip for you. The lower the, the, lower the mixer, the more the blades are working. And obviously, as you go up to 90 degrees, they hardly work at all. Because it's just like a spinning circle with the gravity. But you've got to let gravity do the work with the mix. But as you're putting more sand in, you see you've got to peg it back a bit. That's all, all just fall out. So there goes the full bag of cement. Let me drown one off now. See ya. <laughs> there goes the water again. See, just to try and keep that dust down and I just clicked it back a set in it again just so that no stuff falls out I want to keep your area clean and then basically we just need some more sand in to fill it up adequately not too much because it's still got a mix but it's just a case of keeping an eye on the the consistency now because you don't want it too wet and you don't want it too stiff so basically you've got to think about what you're laying and that'll determine how you, like stiff or watery you want your mix at this moment in time we were laying trench blocks so they soak up a lot of water out of the mortar very quickly so I wanted it quite runny and quite soft and workable so we need to keep an eye on it and there's a plastic bag just getting in on the action. So I'm just lowering it again to let it mix more. A quick tip as well, guys, if you're ever doing a mix, don't just bang everything in the mixer in terms of, like, putting all the sand in and then all your cement in. Try and split it up. Do you know what I mean? If, you, if, you, if you're saying, like, you're putting a bag of cement in a small mixer, just put 
So 10 spades of sand, then half a bag of cement, and then 10 spades of sand, then half a bag of cement. So then you've mixed it all up together, because what you'll get sometimes is, if you put all your sand in, then all your cement, then you'll it'll struggle to mix it all properly. Vice versa, if you put all your cement in first, and then all your sand, you'll find you'll just, all your cement will be at the back of the mix and it won't mix properly, so. Just cleaning up on the mix here now, trying to keep my area clean and what have you. The final parts of it, just throwing the last couple of spades in. Just tipping it out and look at that. Well, wouldn't you know, Mr. Whippy Ice Cream at your services. Look at that, what a beautiful mix. And that is pretty much perfect. So thank you very much for watching this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I've got one a vlog coming soon, either tomorrow or the day after. So yeah, I'll crack on with that. Anyways, guys, thanks a lot. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.